Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and you are looking at the DJI HDFPV goggles video out to a computer. Pretty exciting times and I'm going to show you how you can have a go at it yourself but it's in very early stages. So let's get and see how you do it. All right, so we are going to demonstrate video out on the DJI HDFPV goggles. So you need to download this file here. It's called DJI Video Out. And of course, this is a very early version and you know it's likely to change. I'm just showing you here that it is possible and it has been worked on. So if I extract the contents here of this file, I'll put a link in the video description so you can have a go yourself. So if I extract it here to my desktop and just name it DJI FPV out and then press OK. That's extracting there. Close this down and go in here. So what we are looking at here, this is Zadig. Uh, you guys will know Zadig from getting the drivers right for your Comport when it comes to Betaflight. And so what I need to do now is plug in the DJI FPV goggles. So that is the battery and also the USB into the computer. And then I'm going to plug in a quadcopter that's got the Cadex Vista. This is the Nazgul 5 HD. So we need to go into install drivers and just like with Betaflight, list all devices. And where it says bulk interface, we need to install the driver and this can take some time to do. So we'll just wait for that to complete. And the guys who have been looking at this, they have created a bat file so that we can just demonstrate it. You need to make sure that your Cadex Vista isn't on low temperature mode. Otherwise it will produce an error. Okay, so the driver was installed successfully. If we close that down and close Zadig down, where it says run voc.bat, just double click. And there we go. That is the image coming out of my quadcopter. It's coming out of the goggles and it's working. So go and check it out. Link in the video description. You can have a go of it yourself. Exciting times.